Hey all, JTC here, and welcome back to another Narrated Thoughts gameplay video where I talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it live. Today I'm going to be playing some Warrior Priest using the Hammer and Tome weapon as well as the Flail and Shield weapon. A uh, quick note before we get into it, I am still recovering from COVID and it has unfortunately affected my ability to talk for long periods of time, so I do apologize for any extended silence that might be in this video. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're loading into a match um, at the very beginning of the game. So fun fact, this is actually my second take um, with this specific person, Sergeant Master. The first time I was hosting and he joined my lobby, but unfortunately um, my game crashed, so we're kind of redoing this with another map. So this is take two. Uh, so right now we're rocking with a, a two bots. Uh, hopefully some people will join in the future, but if not, that's no problem. And hey, immediately we have someone else. I wonder what they're gonna what they're gonna be like. But uh, right now, we do have um, a Waste Stalker, uh, which is really, really good for me because I have absolutely no range at my disposal. And uh, what is she running? I cannot tell. I can just look at her. Uh, looks like dual swords and... Uh, you know what? You know what? I'll just, I'll just discover later. Oh, we do have a um, Iron Breaker now. Okay, hopefully he's running something for ranged because we might be struggling with range this game. But uh, if we are, no worries. It's not necessarily going to be incredibly difficult because it's not like we're running Twitch mode. So we're just going to have to play a little bit more carefully. And I'm going to have to play a little bit more conservatively. Oh. Hold up. Before I acknowledge. Before I acknowledge. Come on. There we go. Before I acknowledge. Okay, now I will... I will acknowledge. <coughs> Realistically, oh, he has troll hammer. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. Realistically, what I could have done was I could have used the book in order to um, get there a little faster. Not, not that I think about it, but you know what? It's fine. So, <coughs> excuse me. With this specific setup I'm running, Flail and Shield is going to be my main kind of horde-clearing weapon, um, which is not a bad horde-clearing weapon because it's a very, very safe weapon. Uh, and then my main kind of single-target damage armor weapon is going to be the Tome and, Fe uh, Tome and Shield. Uh, is it... or Tome and Shield. To Hammer and Tome. Is it necessarily the best weapon in the universe? No, but it definitely does get the job done. And it's also a lot of fun to... Oh, I got pounced. It's also a lot of fun to bonk people over the head with a, with a hammer and a book and nerd them a little bit. All right, we have our fourth person joining. I hear a leech. I'm going to keep an eye to see what this guy is um, joining as. I'm not going to lie, I just tried to slide. I'm so used to Dark Tide. <laughs> Uh, this this is like the biggest problem with me coming back to Vermintide. I keep trying to like, I keep trying to like dodge slide, and it's really awkward. All right, I hear a Chaos Patrol. I don't know what that my team is gonna want to do about this, so I'm gonna follow their lead if they want to pull it. <coughs> fine, but if not, I'm not gonna put them in that situation. Coruscation staff. Okay, so it looks like uh we might be we might be struggling a little bit with um oh hello. We might be struggling a little bit with, um, ranged. I still don't know what, uh, the Waystalker is running. Okay, looks like they don't want to pull. Oh, Longbow! Okay, actually, never mind, we're okay. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, so we're going to... immediately just run up and start bonking, trying to get some, uh, damage in. I'm going to keep an eye. Um, I can save people with my ult if I need to. I'm going to save the elf because we just got gassed. No reason to take unnecessary damage here, so I'm going to keep backing up. <coughs> I hear um, a leech up. I'm not really worried about the gas right now. My job is more of the super armor in this case, or the horde either way. I'm actually going to take care of the horde right now because they're, they're more of the threat. Hopefully they got that, yeah. <coughs> I 
As Warrior Priest, I can trade blows pretty well, especially since I'm running from Fury Fortitude. So I'm not really too incredibly worried about, um, like, eating hits, especially from just, like, normal Horde people. Um, Super Armor, I'm still going to be very, very concerned about um, trading hits, and I'm going to want to avoid that at all costs. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to try to avoid it. I forgot to check my ping. My ping's actually pretty good. What is Sergeant Master my neighbor? Damn. Yeah, now that I remember, this is actually like a mini move tech. This is, this, I should have been doing this from the beginning, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, huh, huh, go get him. Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to get him. <coughs> there we go. Easy leech kill. I apologize for my coughing, but I, I, I can't really control it. I'm suspecting that I'm starting to show symptoms of long COVID, and one of it's this really nasty cough that I just genuinely have no control over. Uh, weirdly enough, cough medicine doesn't help against, uh, doesn't help with it, but even weirder, um, <laughs> Ricola helps. So I probably should have popped a Ricola before I recorded this, but you know what, it's fine. <coughs> So because Waystalker is our only ranged capability, I need to be um, kind of trying to defend her a little bit more. Um, typically, I say that it's not really your job to babysit someone, but in this case, I actually would argue it's kind of our job to babysit her, uh, specifically because we want to keep her alive as she's our only like true form of ranged. There is Sienna, but she has a shotgun staff, so she's not going to be able to do much at ranged. So I'm going to be going out of my way a little bit more in order to save the Waystalker than the other two. I hear a Strangler. Assassin pouncing. I hope they get it. I'm just going to block and hope they take care of that. It looks like no. I'm going to protect the Sienna as she goes in for that. Sienna was the one who was using her mobility in order to try to take out some of the specials. So I'm going to do my best to defend her as she does that because I appreciate that because I'm struggling a little bit with this. Here comes the super armor. I'm gonna try to take care of some now, if I can. Oh, be careful, Sienna. I'm missing like a five head. This is kind of awkward. Okay, we just gotta get the, we gotta back up. Okay, he's one. He might die to the AoE or to the to the DOT, but no, it looks like. Who got grabbed? Nobody. They're okay. They got saved. What? Why did I not move? What the hell? Try to help Sienna here since she doesn't have any armor damage. Alright, it looks like we're gonna leave. Awesome. Not gonna lie, not the cleanest um, event of Righteous Stand that I've ever done, but you know what? If it works, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ammunition. ammunition. Imagining ammunition like a like a heretic. Oh, hello. I was coughing. Bonk. So something that is really nice about the uh, Hammer and Tome is that it has a little bit of an AoE when you when you um, charge it and then do the overhead, kind of like um, Sienna's um, Flail. So it is really nice to clear, like, tiny um, hordes of enemies really quickly. Or if you have, like, a bunch of... Um, that's a lot of Berserkers. I'm just going to ult in order to prevent us from taking damage. But, um, if you have, like, a tiny, um, horde of shielded enemies, it's actually not a bad idea to use the 
the tome in order just to like do one slam and then break the shields immediately. You could use the flail and shield if you really wanted to just try to kill them through it. But if you want your team's help, um, destroying the shields is a lot better because they, the, they'll die a lot faster, obviously. Uh, so you can use the hammer and tome to like break the shields instantaneously. I'm going to get her up immediately. Oh, uh, hello. I'm spamming F right now as fast as I can. Okay, we're good. I stopped spamming at the moment I got saved because I realized that um, there was really nothing around me, so I would have been okay. <laughs> nice ragdoll. <clears throat> Unfortunately, not much I can do in this case except just keep doing this, and he's gone. Goodbye. Uh, I'm at, uh, actually, in that case, what I was actually going to do is I was actually going to bubble the person who was saving her in order to in, uh, in, ensure that she was going to get the save off. But I didn't need to do that. Typically, if um, if someone goes down um, across the map and you need to get to them and they're being attacked by enemies and there's no one around them, you want to bubble them in order to keep them alive. But if your entire team's on top of the person who got down, it's better to ult or to bubble the person who's going for the save so you guarantee that they actually get the save. I'm trusting he's gonna the armor armor is gonna be okay. Ow, my butt! It has been smacked. Now this is definitely a uh, a do as I say, not as I do moment. Uh, you might be wondering why I am bonking them with the staff and trying to hoard clear with the t with the hammer and shield, and my answer is because it's fun. I have fun doing this, and I'm going to do it, not because it's optimal, but because it's fun. If you want to do what's optimal, don't do what I'm doing. Also, I'm scared of this troll hammer torpedo damage, so I'm just going to bubble myself because I'm scared of eating any more friendly fire. Oh my god, I have lost a lot of health to friendly fire. A healing I'm going to use this to get away. That was my fault. I'm not going to bitch about that friendly fire. That is definitely better. The reason I yoinked that from him uh, is because in this specific case, since I'm playing Warrior Priest with a double bubble, it's much better for me to have the purple pot than the Iron Breaker. Iron Breaker only needs one ult to basically reach max, effective, max effectiveness. And I actually think that even like with a purple pot, Iron Breaker can only like ult once anyway. He can't get multiple ults out of it. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But especially uh, I, I can get multiple ults out of it and my ults are very valuable. Yeah, assassin? Yeah? You want to talk about it? There's a boy right there. He's dead. I love that interaction from Karelian. Oh, God, I'm going to bump myself because there's too much gas here. I'm going to ping him. Some enemies got knocked behind the bard, and so I'm going to kill them to cover his back. I believe there's more on the way. Once more, do as I say, not as I do. I just like bonking them. It's fun. I'm also going to drop because I'm the only one up there. Oh, I'm going to bubble her to save her. Uh-oh. I got to be careful not to fuck this up. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and just go. There is a lot of assassins up for some reason, and I actually just had a little bit of a panic attack. Oh my god, it's been a long time since I've been panicked in Vermintide. I see you, you little shit. Come here. I'm not letting you get away with it. Come here. Get the horny bonk of Sigmar. All right, if no one else wants it, I will yoink it. Wait, how do you ping in this game? Okay, oh my god. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. I hear a rattling, which is going to be my job to deal with since I can actually, like, walk up to him. Oh, that, that Roger spawned right uh, in thin air. I'm going to go for the rattling. Oh, hello. Hello, Roger. Hello. All right. Time to begin the dodge dance. And when I mean the dodge dance, I mean uh, to be very careful since there's apparently Chaos Warrior on my butt now. Ow, I thought I dodged that. Oh, please. If you're playing with Trollhammer, please do not shoot people point blank. Please do not do it. It hurts so much. Even as Warrior Priest, it's incredibly painful. I know that there's a hook rat, not because I heard it, but because I heard Krillian's call out. I hear that hook rat now, but I don't know where he is. Oh, hey, there he is. I am now... Sp okay, I'm okay. I'm gonna ult this Krillian because she's definitely the more important one right now. Come on, get up. Ah, come on. No, I'm not going to be able to. I got to lead him away. Hopefully someone else can get her. Okay, now we're in a weird situation. I'm going to drink my potions immediately. Save him. I'm just going to spam ult because there's no reason not to. Uh, spamming ult's also gonna allow us to clear, um, clear the horde. I'm charging my book in preparation for the life leeches. Nice, he's dead. Life leeches are the most important right now. He's dead. I'm just gonna ult immediately. Uh, a fun, unique thing about the talent that I'm running. Oh, hold up one second. I'm concentrating. I'm going to go after the Blightstormer. Yeah, he's going to teleport away. Oh my god, I... That was almost death. I really need this guy to kill the special... Because I don't have the ability to do that. Please do not shoot me. I'm begging you. Okay. I'm just going to drink to be safe. Thank you. Okay. What I was trying to say was that the ult that I'm running, the double bubble, um, the other person that it's going to bubble is always 100% of the time. Uh, or there's... There, no. No. It will always get someone regardless of range, is what I'm trying to say. So, like, it doesn't matter if I'm directly next to this Barden or if I'm five million miles away in Lustria. It will always hit him, so I don't need to sit here and search for him and then left-click. I can just hit F. I'm going to wait for Barden, because I need him, because he is my only, uh, only source of ranged. I'm going to go after Sienna because she's closer, A, and B, there's nothing near her. Hooker. Oh, hello. I'm going to protect Sienna. She's a squishy one. 
She also went for the res, which was a beautiful job on her part. <clears throat> I trust my team will take care of that special. Ow. So I'm a, I'm a little concerned <laughs> for this firebreaker. He he's got the spirit all right, but he's a little uh I I got the wrong person. He's a little uh friendly fire happy with the troll hammer, which frightens me. Okay, we I gotta back up. Okay, I'm I'm actually in trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I am tanky, which is good, so I might be able to survive. Hopefully. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, the good thing is that there is a guaranteed spawn literally right up here, so it's not that big of a deal that I died right here. Honestly, it's actually better. It's actually better that I died here because my health was below half. So by dying, I actually reset my health back to exactly half. And since I don't have any ammo, it doesn't matter. I mean, there's, an, there's a permanent ammo here anyway, so it also doesn't matter. So if, there's, if there is a place for me to die, it's right here. They just need one, one of them needs to stay out so the doors don't close so we can go get some healing. Exactly like that, beautiful. See, and now I have half health. So now I have more health than I used to have. Did I still have the med? Hey, there's art. That specific kind of, um, I guess I, I guess I can call it a tip, is like a tip that people don't normally think about and people don't normally do because it's kind of like one of those really small things that, in, depending on the difficulty you're playing, can range from very, very helpful to literally doesn't matter. Like, she's the, she's the dinger. If you're playing like D1s, that kind of tip doesn't matter because literally everything's going to one-shot you unless you're playing like Iron Breaker. But if you're playing like Champion or Legend, that kind of tip can actually help you survive a couple of hits, so it actually might be worth doing. By the hammer, they are upon us. Dying to, to get more ammo is also definitely a thing that people do in like Fow, so that's also like definitely a, uh, a thing that people do. Oh my god, Poggers. Barden said the line. I hear a hooker. Keeping an eye on them, but they're okay. I hear a Daka back here somewhere. I think he's craw crawling up here? No, he's dropping down. What is he doing? Where is he? Wah! This man is teleporting. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. Okay, you got him. Hi. Oh, hello. There's super armor, so I'm going to start moving away from this corner. I'm just using these to kind of stagger the Chaos Warriors when I don't like the attack that they're doing. Or I just back up. Thank you, Sienna, for saving me. That's why we have teammates. So they can save your hass when you normally wouldn't be able to. I'm just going to get her immediately. Um, there's no reason for me to waste my ult right now. Oh my god, I almost ate that. Thank god I didn't. Bonk. Here's another bonk. Bonks for everybody. Okay, Karelian healed, so we're fine with that. Ow. Someone's dead. I'm gonna start making my way over there. Uh, I couldn't get there fast enough. I'm kind of in a weird situation. I'm going to fight my way out right now. 
Okay, I need to rescue. I'm gonna get her up immediately. Oh, this is bad. All right, I'm just gonna do a weird thing that I don't normally do and I'm just gonna turtle. And I'm gonna hope to God that they're able to survive. Okay, this is really bad. Holy shit, there's two of them. Uh, this is actually pro- this might end in a death for me. Uh, unless... Unless... Unless I'm gonna have to dodge another... Get up. I'm gonna have to wait for my ult and pray. Nope, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, that's unfortunate, but sometimes that just happens. But that's going to be it for this episode of Narrated Thoughts Gameplay. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments below, and hopefully I'll catch y'all next time. See y'all next time.